Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Do you want to be delighted with that result tonight? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been delighted with our, or happy with our performances for the last two weeks. I mean, what you have to realize is the difference in tonight's game and last night's game is very negligible. Um, pucks fell on the sticks for us tonight and uh, pucks weren't dropping for them, you know. Um, our first period last night and, and certainly the, the third, um, you know, can't fault the guys. But tonight the offense opened up um, and, and we got two key points against uh, a very good team. And the fight scored in every period tonight, something that has not happened a lot this season. Well, like I mentioned, it was good to see the offense uh, uh, open up. I mean, look, like I, I, I've never been so happy for a couple guys like Leezy, who's really gone through a, a long stretch. You know, Kegger tonight scores. I mean, Kegger does that for with his eyes closed, um, but sometimes the longer it goes, the harder it, it is to get a goal. So really happy for, for a few of the guys who have, have been struggling to score. Um, and that's what they're here for. Um, but uh, it makes the game more enjoyable for these guys when, when the puck's going in the net and you're picking up two points, right? And with Lee and Kay both getting man of the matches this weekend, both getting goals this weekend, have they turned a corn, do, corner, do you think? Well, I, you know what? Sometimes, uh, just, just to touch on what I just said there, uh, and, you know, I've been through it in the past too. Uh, it gets into your head. Maybe sometimes you start thinking, "Now oh, I need a goal. I need a goal," and, and, and you stop doing the little things that make you successful. I mean, um, we just saw a lot of unselfish plays tonight. Uh, how many times was the puck along the wall, and everybody made sure they got it out, took a pl took a hit to to get it out. Uh, Foxy uh, jumps down in front of that puck and blocks that puck at the end. Hainsey, big block. A kegger block at the end there so I mean all those little simple things that maybe not everybody notices on a nightly basis really add up to to, to our success How is Justin Fox after taking that hit at the end? Well, Fox is a big boy, he'll be alright And a great win against a team that are going to be competing for the league, how, how do you rate Nottingham Panthers? Oh, uh, I mean all these teams are, are good I mean what, what I'm probably um, I was going to say happiest wasn't well, the what I'm happiest about, but you see our shot counts on these teams against. We're out shooting these teams, um, and these are, you know, teams that everybody's saying is challenging for the league. I mean, it was just a matter of time before our chances are, are going to start going in. We just need to do it on a more consistent basis, and, and guys got to realize all those little things that they did that added up to their success um, equates to two points. But maybe more importantly, they enjoy themselves a lot more. There's a lot happier dressing room tonight. And that's what it's all about, because that's when you're going to get the most out of your players. And that's the second win against the Southern Conference side. Does that give the team confidence going into games against those sides in the rest of the season? Yeah, it's about time. I mean, we've been close and close and close. And, I mean, maybe that's like a goal-scoring thing. It becomes a psychological thing as well. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to look into it too much. Um, but they just delivered at a key moment. I mean, that's tied us with the Edinburgh Capitals. Um, and and we'll, we'll start tracking the teams uh, above us now. That are just above us now and we got a few uh, conference games that we run into now that are key we have to go on a little bit of a run here we we know that's vital and um you know we'll, we'll just have another week of practice to build on that that effort on both games this weekend and what's your thoughts going to next weekend at home to manchester then away to dundee stars yeah well manchester highly offensive and um they came in here and uh uh, we weren't pleased with the result the last time they were in this building, so we, we owe them one, and uh, we, we want to create a bit more distance between us and them as well. Um, and Dundee, uh, we've been successful our last two outings against them, although um, for whatever reason their, their firepower has really kind of opened up the last last couple of weeks. So going to be a team that's uh, difficult, but we've gone in that building. We won a one nothing hockey game there a couple of weeks ago, so uh, no reason why we can't go and do it again. Just finally, last night you spoke to Ali and you're alluding to possibly bringing a player in. What's, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, we're going we're gonna to need some help. Um, and and that's, uh, that's certainly on our agenda and that's actively happening. Well, what kind of player would you be looking to, to bring in? Well, you know, I think that when you come to Fife, you need to be an all-round player. But we need, uh, we need somebody who consistently puts the puck in the net. I think that uh, we have struggled for that. But, um, you, you know, hopefully uh, a number of our key guys have turned the corner here. Thank you. Thank you.